Hello everyone, and welcome. It's time for Drunk Bible Reading, and today we are drinking absinthe, one of the most alcoholic beverages in the world, and it is going to get crazy. So, let's begin Drunk Bible Reading, Absinthe Edition. And this is, like I said, one of the most alcoholic beverages in the world. It's illegal in many countries, and it's going to be good. I don't know what happens during these streams. They're always crazy. Uh, but we got it. We're ready to go. We've got the Bible, and we've got the absinthe. I hope you like my new setup here, by the way. Oh, yes. We have lots of new things. But you can see, if you're ready, bam! We have the absinthe ready to go. So, we're going to get started here. It's going to be good. And I don't know. There's a lot. There's a lot. It, it, it's, it's, it's going to be interesting. And I'm going to be interacting with you guys the whole time. You guys can suggest Bible verses via the Super Chat feature. And we'll read them. And I'm probably going to get plastered. I always get plastered. I always say I'm not going to. And then you guys get me very, very plastered. But uh, this is one of the most alcoholic drinks in the world. So most likely it, that's going to be the case. Let me jump into the comments real quick and say hello to everyone. Let's see, hello Master Shake, Elisa, Anthony, Jesse, Sandra, May, Jordy, Crystal, Zelatov, and all our moderators, Rowan, Megan, Susan, Azur. So good to see you all here today. Make sure you hit that like, share, subscribe, all those buttons, hit hit them. And uh, oh yeah, so by the way, we're gonna start we're we're gonna start doing this right away. Remember, um, don't drink if you're not of the legal age. I'm not um, advocating doing anything crazy. So be legal, stay safe, be responsible, don't drink if you're underage, all that. Okay? So let us oh I just realized my microphone was very far away. So hopefully you can hear me much better now. Now you should be able to uh, hear better. So let's let's start doing this. So let me, for those of you guys who don't know, this is what we're going to do. Ralph Roth Jr., thank you for helping us wake up the world. And let's see here, okay. <laughs> so let's begin, this is how, this is how it works. You have the absinthe spoon. You have the absinthe uh, bottle, glass rather. And then you have absinthe sugar. Really, this is just like any other kind of sugar. The only difference is that it's flatter. But this is absinthe sugar from France, which I bought many, 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 many years ago. I don't know if sugar goes bad. Does sugar go bad? I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, I'm sure eventually it must, but I'm sure it has an extremely long shelf life. Okay. So this is how it works. You take the absinthe, you place it across the spoon, And, all right, so you take the, here, I don't want to get the label in there because YouTube's weird about labels. Uh, and I have more, don't worry, I have more than just this. But, put it over the sugar. And you fill it up until uh, this section here of the glass has enough. Like so. Now here's the deal. Here's the deal. Many people light the sugar cube on fire. You're not supposed to light, if you're an absinthe aficionado, you're not supposed to light the absinthe, uh, light the cube on fire. Anyone who's into absinthe, I know Philip is big into absinthe, they go, don't light it on fire. It's going to ruin the taste of the absinthe. It caramelizes the sugar, then you don't taste the absinthe as much. Don't do it. But I mean, come on, like, you guys want me to light it on fire, right? I mean, why wouldn't you? So I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to, <laughs> but remember, I know that you're not supposed to. I'm just turning the light off so you can see a little better.
Can you guys see that? Aha. So, you light the... You light it on fire. And I know I'm not supposed to. So all, all you know, absent aficionados, Philip, I'm sorry. I apologize. But hey, come on. It's much more fun. So, let me get this light back on. Now, uh, basically, what you do is uh, you take this here, and this is just a spout, and it's going to drip some water out. And you drip it over the sugar until the sugar melts. like so okay so it's dripping it's dripping now and it's starting to fill up in the meantime guys well, what I wanted to tell you is if you're watching the replay if you're watching the replay in the comments tell me other drinks that you want me to drink during these drunk Bible studies and I'll do it um, you know maybe I'll do like the top rated comment so in the comments in the replay tell me give me a drink suggestion rate and that is what I will uh, do next time. And if I've never made it before, I'll make it live for the first time on camera. So that's, while that's dripping, let me, um... holy shit, David, thank you so much. Uh, so let's see. Real quick, big shout outs to uh, Ralph Roth, Mickey Nelson, William Krause, and David donated a hundred dollars says always enjoy your Bible reading it's very comical I wonder if you or anyone will get their shirt off this time yeah last time I took my shirt off at 666 likes uh, well thank you so fucking much David you are awesome um, let's let's Jesus I always say that uh, David is the Hyperion Mr. Beast because he always comes in here and drops big super chats let's let's throw up some let's throw up some tri scales tri scales in the chat for David Try scales in the chat for David. Now, while that's that's still dripping over there, you can kind of see it slowly filling up. While that's still, yeah, let's get those let's get those try scales going for David. You're awesome, my friend. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for supporting. Uh, again, I can't tell you how much the super chats help. You guys are awesome. Remember to smash that like button as well. Uh, while that's dripping. I want to read to you just a little bit about Van Gogh and absinthe. So it's no secret that Van Gogh was addicted to absinthe, a green drink that became so feared it was banned, being castigated as the devil in a bottle. It was thought to cause hallucin hallucinations and was blamed for a murder in the early 1900s. Absinthe is legal in many countries. In the United States, it was illegal for a really long time. It was only in the early 2000s, I believe, that absinthe is, was finally made legal in the United States. The main ingredients were wormwood, Florence fennel, and green anise. The intoxicating ingredient is thujone, found in wormwood. Thujone is in a class of chemicals called terpenes. Terpenes are also in turpentine, which Van Gogh reportedly tried to drink and in his paints, which he did eat at times. Uh, one glass of absinthe could have as much as 70% alcohol, uh, 140 proof. Yes, yeah, so the, the brand of, of absinthe that I'm drinking right now is 69% alcohol. Uh, and yeah, so that, you know, it's rumored that Van Gogh caught off his ear because of absinthe, but you know, that's a rumor, but, but it's still a fun thing. So let's see, I think that's probably pretty much done. Let's take a look.
All right. So here we go. Whoa, it's dripping all over the place. Now this particular brand doesn't really make it really green, but this is a very, very, uh, this is a good brand. I've had other brands that, that were really green, but they, they weren't as good. Uh, I am not prepared here. I don't have a, a thing. All right, that works. That works. So let's see. Cheers. Cheers to everyone. Yeah, that's good. It's strong and good. 69%. 69% alcohol. And let us begin shall we so we have our absinthe i'm you know i'm sure probably going to go through a few of these and we are going to begin our drunk bible reading oh, da god damn david <laughs> david just donated another hundred dollars thank you so much david you are fucking awesome my friend Let's see. Do we have green fairy? Uh, is there a green fairy emoji? Someone show me if there's a green fairy emoji. If so, send some green fairies to to David for being fucking awesome. Drunk vampire. Thank you for helping us wake up the world. Do we have fa green fairy? Uh, yeah, I think that's a green fairy. I'm trying to copy. All right. Yeah, let's get those going. Let's do some fairies for for David. Jeez, David, you're fucking awesome. Okay, thank you guys so much. We are going to begin with our uh, drunk Bible reading. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the skepticsannotatedbible.com, which has a list of some of the worst most atrocious Bible verses ever. And we are going to take a look at those and I'm gonna bring that website up right now. However, you can also use the super chat feature to suggest a Bible verse and I will look up your verse as well. So that's the other way we can, uh, we can do it. Let me see if you guys can see that. On screen there we go on screen here and I think someone did suggest a verse so let me look it up I'm gonna kind of try and drink this sort of fast so we can get this going remember if you are on Facebook please share this video share 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 if you are on Facebook and I'm interacting in the chat on YouTube um, so make sure you join us on YouTube okay uh, join us on YouTube. The link is in the comments or the description. Alana Wiles, thank you so much for helping us wake up the world. 666 donation, thank you. So let's see, who was it? Yes, Mickey Nelson wants me to check out 2 Samuel 12, 14 through 18. So let us, let us check it out. Let us check it out. What do you guys think of my new setup, by the way? You guys like the new setup? What do you think was not easy putting that thing together? Tell me. Tell me what you think. Dresden Dittmer is from Facebook. Shout out to Dresden. Remember, if you're from Facebook, come on over to YouTube, subscribe, and I'll shout you out if I see it. Uh, you know, let me know that you did in the comments. And... Uh, we're trying to reach, uh, we hit 100,000 subscribers. Now is our million monad march, march to a million. So come on over, subscribe, help us reach it. I'm glad you guys, I'm glad you guys like it. Okay, so we're looking up Rowan James. Thank you for helping us wake up the world. And Zelatov, I'll see your verse in a minute. Sandra Hanan wants you to stay hydrated. I will, I just started, so. 
don't tell anyone this, but there was a time when I did a couple of... I have done absinthe shots before. Which is not a good idea. Don't do that. Um, first, okay, what are we looking up here? What are What blasphemous thing are we looking up? You know what's ridiculous is I did those, I did that uh, verse, that, that video, five, five verses on slavery in the Bible, and that video got demonetized, which is, I think is really, really funny that my video was demonetized just from reading the Bible. Isn't that crazy that the Bible's so crazy that, that you'll get flagged? Okay. Oh, sorry about that. I'm just checking my connection settings, making sure you guys are able to see everything fine. Okay, 2 Samuel 12, uh, 14. Okay. Second Samuel 12. What was it? Mm, 14 through 18. Let's see what it has to say. 12, 14. Okay. But when you saw... Oh, no, that's not right. You must honor the Lord and serve him. You must obey his word and not turn against his commands. Both you and the king ruling over you must follow the Lord your God. If you do, it will be well with you. But if you don't obey the Lord, and if you turn against his commands, he will be against you. He will do to you what he did to your ancestors. Now stand still and see the great thing that the Lord will do before your eyes. It is now time of the wheat harvest. I will pray for the Lord to send thunder and rain. Then you will know what an evil thing you did against the Lord when you asked for a king. Then Samuel prayed to the Lord, and the same day the Lord sent thunder and rain, so the people were very afraid of the Lord and Samuel. They said to Samuel, Pray to the Lord your God for us, your servants, don't let us die. We've added to all our sins the evil of asking for a king. J.S. Clay says, I'm a Gnostic Christian. Gnostics love more. Gnostic Christianity is, is for those who don't know, Gnostic Christianity is a... a a heretical form, very blasphemous form of Christianity, and it's 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 fantastic. They look at the God of the Old Testament as being uh, a, a devil, a demon called Yaldeboath, uh, the Demiurgos, and they believe that he's an evil being, a tyrant that trapped souls, uh, divine sparks from the Pleroma into his infernal creation. So, okay, let's wait. There's another verse. Zelotop wants Matthew 23 through 27 and then we'll do um, some more absinthe because I need the hard thing with absinthe is it hits you really fast so I already drank one and uh, you know I'm afraid I'm just gonna do them and, and whew, it's gonna hit fucking hard okay what uh, Matthew we need Matthew 23 27 Oh, a New Testament. How terrible for you, teachers of the law and Pharisees. You are hypocrites. You are like tombs that are painted white. Outside those tombs look fine, but inside they are full of the bones of dead and all kinds of unclean things. It is the same with you. People look at you and think you are good, but on the inside you are full of hip uh, hypocrisy, hypocrisy and evil. Now this one's actually not too bad because Jesus is essentially telling the religious leaders of the time that, hey, you think you're good, but you're actually 
dirty and dead and full of bones and evil. So that's not too bad. You know, I'm not a fan of Jesus Christ, but he's uh, he's telling religious people that, that they're basically full of shit. Um, so that that's not too bad. I'm not I'm not I'm not opposed to that one actually. That's you know for for all the shit in the Bible, that one's decent. Uh, Renee Pakel and Bombarder. Thank you for helping us wake up the world. We're gonna do we're gonna do some more absinthe here, and we're gonna make it go. We're just gonna do it fast. Um, and then we're gonna look at some more of these verses here. Uh, let's see. Okay, do I need sugar? Yes. Why not? Why not? By the way, guys, my computer has been really, really weird lately. So if it ever just freezes, don't worry. I'll be right back. It's just because my computer... I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. Everything's really weird right now. Chris Topa. Hey, Chris. Good to see you. Thank you for helping us wake up the world. Okay. I love these streams. Awesome. I'm glad you like them. So we're going to do some more, uh, but I'm out. I'm out of this one. But have no fear. I have no fear. We have more. Ah. I need to, uh, I am not prepared. I need a paper towel because I'm getting alcohol. I'm getting alcohol everywhere. And we're just going to do this real fast. We're just gonna, we're, we're just gonna turn the spigot on on this one. Wow, that's going yeah, that's going real fast. Here's a um Here's a good one for from Evil Bible or not Evil Bible, the Skeptics Bible. If you didn't know, but the Skeptics Bible is just the Bible. It's it's just they point out the the terrible things in it. So in let's see in Genesis, uh, in Genesis twenty two two through thirteen, God orders Abraham to kill Isaac as a burnt offering, and so Abraham is or Isaac is Abraham's son. So God orders Abraham to kill Isaac as a burnt offering. Abraham shows his love for God by his willingness to murder his son. So let's see what this says. And he, so this is Genesis 22 two, And he said, take now thy son, thine only son, Isaac, whom thou lovest and get thee into the land of Moriah and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains, which I will tell thee of. So basically, you know, God says that you should have Isaac, your son, go bring him to a mountain and, uh, you know, kill him and burn him as a sacrifice for me. So Isaac, um, so Abraham does this. Abraham takes his son, they go up the mountain, he ties his son up. And he's raising the knife. He's raising the knife to kill his son. And then, and then right when uh, Abraham is about to kill his son, God sends a goat for uh, Abraham to kill instead of his son. So instead of killing his son, Abraham kills a goat and burns the goat as a burnt offering to God. And, you know, this is a really horrible story. And this story is taught in church as being just like absolutely fantastic the epitome of faith 
you know, you're taught in church that you should be like Abraham to have that kind of faith in God that you would be so willing to kill your child if God asked you, which is really crazy, which is really, really crazy that, that in church you're taught that you should have so much faith in God that if he tells you to kill your child, you should do it uh, because you need to have faith, which is really, really insane. ZG, thank you for helping us wake up the world from Sweden. ZG again. Thank you for helping us wake up the world once again, my friend. So someone else suggested a ver uh, verse, Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 23.2. We have some good suggestions here. So Deuteronomy 23, 2. Oh, this is weird. No man who has had part of his sex organ cut off may come into the meeting to worship the Lord. No one born to parents who were forbidden by law to marry may come into the meeting to worship the Lord. The descendants for ten generations may not come in either. So, if you've had part of your sex organs cut off, you're not allowed to come into the meeting and, and you can't worship the Lord. Sorry, guys. Sorry about that. So then we have, let's see, only one master shake wants 1 Peter 2-18. through 18. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess that this has something to do with with sexism. I'm I'm just guessing. Usually in that po I know we're getting towards that section of the Bible, and I feel like this section that we're going towards just has a lot of sexism in it. So this is my guess. I am I am guessing that this is having something to do with sexism. Let's see if I'm right. First Peter two through eighteen. I I I'm I don't know. If I am, but. First Peter two eighteen. Oh no, it's it's slavery. Slaves, yield to yield to the authority of your masters with all respect, not only those who are good and kind, but also those who are dishonest. Yeah, uh, so this is uh, actually one of the verses that I included in my five verses on slavery in the Bible. Yeah, so slaves. Yield to the authority of your masters with all respect, not only the good and kind ones, but also those who are dishonest. A person might have to suffer even when it is unfair, but if he thinks of God and stands the pain, God is pleased. If you are beaten for doing wrong, there is no reason to praise you for being patient in your suffering. But if you suffer for doing good and you are patient, then God is pleased. This is what you were called to do because Christ suffered for you and gave you an example to follow. So you should do as he did. So they're saying if you're a slave and your master is cruel, you should still obey him. And if he's cruel to you and beats you, even if you did nothing wrong, God is pleased with it because you should be like Christ. So do you see why, you know, uh, it was encouraged to teach slaves Christianity? Because Christianity is all about submission and obeying your masters and being like Christ. So, yeah, for those who don't know, um, it, it was encouraged to teach slaves Christianity so that they would be more submissive, which is all, uh, disgusting. Okay, we have more suggestions. So let me just real quick. Chris... Walter, Sandra, and Darcy, thank you for helping us wake up the world. Let's see. Uh, Chris wants Genesis 38.8. I have all the uh, comments on screen, by the way. I'm, I'm following along. But wait, what are we looking at? 
Remember, if you're on Facebook, come on over to YouTube, subscribe. This is where I'm interacting with people in the comments, and I will see you. I will see you. Uh, shout you out if I see you. I'm. I'm tripping over my words already. God has little dick energy, May Lewis says. God has small pee pee. Small pee pee. God is small pee pee. Little brain, small pee pee. Let's see. Michelle Montanez. Thank you for helping us wake up the world. So what are we looking up? It was Chris. Chris wanted... Remember to hit that like button as well. Chris wanted Genesis 38.8. Where are we? Genesis. Genesis is the first book. Where where are it's the first one. Come on. Come on, man. No, I'm doing the live chat. You wanna know if I have the whole chat or filtered? It's on the it's on the whole chat. God is small pee pee. Okay, let's see. What are we looking up? Genesis thirty what? 38.8. Genesis 38. Oh! Then Judah said to Er's brother, Onan, Go and have sexual relations with your dead brother's wife. It is your duty to provide children for your brother in this way. But Onan knew that the children would not belong to him. So when he was supposed to have sex with Tamar, he did not complete the sex act. This made it impossible for Tamar to become pregnant and for Er to have descendants. The Lord was displeased by this wicked, wicked thing Onan had done, so the Lord killed Onan also. Then Judah said to his daughter-in-law Tamar, Go back to live in your father's house and don't marry until my young son Shelah grows up. Judah was afraid that Shelah also would die like his brothers, so Tamar returned to his her father's home. Do you see how crazy this is? Like the 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 Bible is filled with just this insanity. Like look, like it goes on. After a long time, Judah's wife, the daughter of Shua, died. After Judah got had gotten over her, his sorrow, he went to Timnah to his men who were cutting the wool from his sheep. Tamar learned that Judah, her father-in-law, was going to Timnah, so cut the wool from his sheep. So she took off the clothes that showed she was a widow and covered her face with a veil to hide who she was. Then she sat down by the gate on the road to Timnah. She did this because Judah's young son, Sheila, had grown up, but Judah had not made plans for her to marry him. When Judah saw her, he thought she was a prostitute because she covered her face with a veil. So Judah went to her and said, let me have sex with you. He did not know that she was Tamar, his daughter-in-law. This sounds like some Pornhub, some porn, Pornhub shit, doesn't it? She, <laughs> she asked, what will you give me if I let you have sex with me? Judah answered, I will send you a young goat from my flock. Hey, hey, baby. Hey, baby, you fuck me. I got a goat for you. She answered, first give me something to keep as a deposit until you send the goat. So it just, it goes on. He goes to get the goat. And he's trying to figure out if he's a, if she's a prostitute or not. Does, does he fuck her? I'm just trying to, I'm skipping ahead because it. Oh. About three months later, someone told Judah, Tamar, your daughter-in-law, is guilty of acting like a prostitute, and now she is pregnant. Then Judah said, bring her out and let her be burned to death. Do you see how, just like, this is so crazy. So first of all, God wanted Onan to fuck her, but he didn't, so God killed him. 
Then his her father-in-law tries to have sex with her. I don't know if he actually does, but she gets pregnant, and then she he hears about it and wants her to be burned to death. Anyway, that was a long... Who, 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 who suggested that? I think it was Chris. Thank you for that suggestion, Chris. Chris, good one. Let me say... Uh, only one master shake says, I gotta say, drunken Bible study is almost like therapy. I agree, because people need to know that this shit is in the Bible. And can you imagine that, you know, kids grow up on this stuff. Kid, kids are taught this, this insanity. Uh, let's see. Hold on. What do we got? Let me shout some people out. Shout out to, 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 Claire G, Richard Rodriguez, Mr. Poo Poo. Uh, Dana, and of course, only one master shake. And we have more verses that are being suggested. Make sure you smash like, by the way, guys. Hit that like button, because there are 400 people in here, uh, and we're only at 300 likes. So hit that like button and subscribe. Subscribe. If you subscribe and you tell me in the comments, I'll shout you out if I see it. I'll shout you out. Um, so make sure you do it. We have so many people on Facebook. Share this video, then come on over to YouTube and subscribe uh, that's where I'm interacting in comments is on YouTube someone said how can any self-respecting woman be a Christian yeah I don't that's I mean because Christianity is all about the dominance of men it says that women are less than men so you can't be a fundamentalist literalist Christian and also feminist at the same time because Christianity literally says there's an order it's Christ uh, men, women, children. There's literally there's literally an order of authority, and um, you know there's verses that say women you must obey. Uh, uh, women you must obey. Men and so Walter Hurst, <laughs> Walter Hurst wants to know. Uh, why basically why 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 do i bash christianity and mock faith because it's terrible okay the reason why i do this is because people don't know what's in here right people don't know what's in here and it's important to realize that there is hatred homophobia uh, sexism violence all of these things in the bible and it needs to be brought to the public's awareness so that people can know how much damage this do does to young minds growing up. It's the same, I would be, you know, it's the same reason why I would be against, uh, you know, uh, why I'm against Nazism or anything like that. Because it's a system that promotes sexism, violence, homophobia, etc. But a lot of people don't know it. So you have to point it out, make, it aw make people aware of it, so that children aren't raised on this it's mental abuse it's mental abuse so that's why I do it I mean why wouldn't you point out something that is harming the minds of children Jade Sharp says please say hi to me more hello Philip shop five dollars thank you so much Philip for helping us wake up the world good to see you Philip is our absinthe aficionado by the way so, okay, I need more. I can already feel this quite a lot, honestly. But I guess we're doing more. Pisces Princess says, The Bible is taken literally and it's not meant to. Well, I mean, some parts can be taken metaphorically, sure. But, but how are you going to metaphorically take the part where God tells Onan to uh, fuck his brother's sister, but he doesn't, so God kills him, so she dresses up like a prostitute, and her father-in-law wants to give her a goat so he can fuck her, and then he burns her, he wants to have her burned for being a prostitute. What, uh, you know, like, what metaphor are you going to glean out of that? What, what, what piece of... What piece of cosmic wisdom are you going to get out of that? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. 
Oh goddamn, that was a lot. That was a lot. The Bible is like a crazier version of Harry Potter if you take it at literal face value. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. It's, it's, uh, it really is. That's why I say I'm against fundamentalist, literalist Christianity. Uh, like Gnostic Christianity is not literalist. It takes it as a metaphor and it takes, and, and it looks at the Bible and goes, oh, hey, you know, the God of the Old Testament, he's actually the devil. So that's a good, healthy, positive interpretation of Christianity because Gnostics look at all the atrocity in the Old Testament, like what I like what I read to you, and said, "Hey, that's not a god; that's a devil. That's the Demiurgos. That's the uh, Yaldabaoth, the the false creator. Uh, because look how evil he is." So you see how again I I talked about reality tunnels. Fundamentalist, literalist Christians and Gnostic Christians have separate reality tunnels. One is healthy, healthier, and one is very very toxic. We should have. That story just reads like a Pornhub thing. I want to have that music, you know that that what's that intro that intro music from from Pornhub that ba dum bump that. I want that to play before we read these stories. I think that would be effective. Okay, I am completely forgetting to drink water, which I should be doing because I can feel this. Um, all right, we have a lot of verses. Zelotov, thank you for helping us wake up the world. Zelotov says, what measuring stick do you use to ferret out the meta parts from the literal parts? Seems kind of arbitrary, right? Yeah, no, I, I agree. I agree. So, but once again, you know, like I said, there's a difference between fundamentalist, literalist Christianity and um, like a metaphorical in interpretation. But it's just, it's so dangerous because people read it and they will take it literally. And like I said, there's so much in the Bible that's just clearly not metaphor. Like that story, there's clearly no metaphor there. It's just clearly horrible. It's just clear. It's just. It's just. It is just toxic. Okay, but people take it literally. You know, they're like, "Oh, we won't. We're going to live our life and not go to hell because of the talking snake that tricked man into eating the apple. That trick. You know, tricked Eve into eating the apple. Who gave it to Adam? Like, it's so crazy. Like, oh, people believe this, so they're, they they live a certain way." because of that damned talking snake. You know, they literally believe this. All right, what I have to do, we have some, I'm, I'm, I'm clearly already drunk, but absinthe is fucking strong. Absinthe is fucking strong. So I have to take a piss. So what we're gonna do is, uh, I'm, I'm drunker, I'm drunk. Okay, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go take a piss. I'm gonna come back. There's another. There's another glass of absinthe waiting for me. And uh, while while I take a piss, uh, if you're from you know Facebook, share this video. Come on over to YouTube and interact in the. Com uh, let me know in the comments, and I'll shout you out if I see it when I come back. All right, be right back.
All right, I have returned. I have returned. Joshua, Duncan, and Lauren, and Pierre, thank you for helping us wake up the world. Let's get... Uh. Let's get this going. Yeah, if we get a thou if we get a thousand likes, I'll do a shot of absinthe. You don't want to do that, by the way. But there's no way you guys are getting to a thousand likes, so. But yeah, for a thousand likes, I will do a shot of absinthe. Ay. <laughs> Dairy. Dairy, uh, no, Dairy, I don't know if I'm saying your name correctly, says, you should do ayahuasca next live while reading the Bible. I don't think YouTube would like, I don't think YouTube would like that, and I think that that would be a horrible trip. Ayahuasca in the Bible? Oh my lord. That sounds like, that sounds like a nightmare. Sharon, thank you so much. I'm glad you like my hair. Uh, let's get that back to... No, what, what do we want? We want green. It's absinthe, right? Dresden. Huge fan from uh, Wisconsin. Hello, hello. I'm glad you enjoy my work. Thank you for helping us wake up the world, Dresden. It's... Oh, man, that's strong. It's... E blech. It's... E it's Easter the Egg's birthday. Happy birthday. All right, let's take a look at some more of these verses. And remember, if you are on uh, Facebook, share, 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 share this video everywhere. And then come on over to YouTube. Subscribe, that's where I'm interacting in the comments and I will shout you out if I see it. So let's see what we have here. Joshua Duncan, thank you for helping us wake up the world. Oh man, that's strong. Denise Ortega says, hi, you're wonderful. I'm from Facebook. Thank you for coming over. Please subscribe, Denise. Linda Leland. Thank you for helping us wake up the world. Okay, let me see what suggestions we have for verses. Uh, okay, Mr. Poo Poo. Mr. Poo Poo wants... What does Mr. Poo Poo want? Cynthia Key says, It boggles my mind how violence and retribution and jealousy are all taught in the Bible. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Mr. Poo Poo. What fantastic name, my friend. Just, you know, what... Mr. Poo Poo wants 2 Kings 2.23-25. Okay. David, my God. David donated another... $50. Thank you so much, David. Let's send some... God, you're you're awesome, David. Let's send the Sign of Nutera. Let's send the Sign of Nutera over for... Oh, and, and David says drink some water. Yes, thank you, David. Okay. What are we doing? Second Kings? Second Kings. Uh huh. Stevie Strangelove is the first first live for, on YouTube. Welcome, Stevie. <laughs> Someone says I don't know how to pronounce your name. It's just a bunch of star uh, symbols. But it, they said someone shared this live stream on a preacher Facebook group. That's awesome. That's well, I am your preacher today. That's awesome. Have all the preachers come. Maybe they will learn something. Okay, so Mr. Poo Poo would like Second Kings two twenty three. Rob, it's first time 
on YouTube. Thank you, Rob. Remember, if you guys are new, subscribe. Uh, what am I? What am I doing? We're at 400 likes. Remember, if we get to a thousand likes, I'll do an absinthe shot. A shot. All right, this is for you, Mr. Poo Poo. No, I'm in for. I'm not in second. Second Kings, come on! I can do this. I can do this. Twenty three. Wait, damn it! I got this. I got this. Shit! I lost it. What was it? Uh, two. Was it two twenty three? I think it was two twenty three. I think. I think. Two. Oh, okay. Yeah. I see. Okay. From there, Alicia went up to Bethel. On the way, some boys came out of the city and made fun of him. They said to him, Go up too, you bald head. Go up too, you bald head. Alicia turned around, looked at him, and put a curse on them in the name of the Lord. Then two mother bears came out of the woods and tore 42 of the boys to pieces. <laughs> so Alicia, there, there were some kids... And they were making fun of Alicia and saying, hey, you're bald. Ha ha, you're bald. And Alicia cursed them in the name of the Lord. And so two bears came out of the woods and, and tore 42 of the boys to pieces. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that's that's a great, that's a great Bible study uh, story. There's clearly... There's clearly some deep cosmic wisdom in there. Forget math and science and logic. Forget all that. Tearing 42 children to pieces, death by bear, for calling someone bald. Clearly there's some deep hidden cosmic truth embedded in this truly enlightened story. Okay. Joshua Duncan. Thank you so much for helping us wake up the world. $50 super chat from Joshua. What shall we send to Joshua? Let's send some infinity skulls. Let's send some infinity skulls to Joshua. Thank you. Uh, Tanya Guess. Thank you for helping us wake up the world. Still Waters and Robert Patterson. Uh, Still Waters. Still Waters. Want Second Samuel six six. Okay. Okay. Vapor says good stream. I've been wanting to try absinthe. I love seeing those um infinity skulls going. Awesome. Remember, if you're from Facebook, come on over. Subscribe, I'll shout you out. Oh Sebi, nice to see you. All right, what did 2 Samuel 6, 6? God, this absinthe is fucking strong. Seriously, I need to drink some water. This... <sighs> My lord. Oh, someone... No, I meant the Preacher TV series. A group of fans of this show... On Facebook, you should check out his this TV show. It's awesome. Preacher TV. Is it? Does it? What's it about? That sounds interesting. Omriel, thank you for helping us wake up the world. Okay. What are we looking up? What? What are we looking up? I forgot. What are we looking at? Samuel. Second Samuel. 6-6. Six, six. Who wanted that? Still Waters. Second Samuel. 6-6. Six, six. Remember, smash like. A thousand likes, I'll do a shot of absinthe. And I really don't want to. 
I really don't want to, but I don't think you guys are going to get to a thousand likes. So, ha. Okay, second Samuel. That's not too far from the children dying by bear. Oh, okay. I remember all these stories. I read all these stories as a child. God damn. For those who don't know, I grew up in a strict religious household. Uh, wait. Six. Six. Okay. When David's men came to the threshing floor of Nacon, the oxen stumbled. So Uzzah reached out to steady the ark of God. The Lord was angry with Uzzah and killed him because of what he did. So Uzzah died there beside the ark of God. David was angry because the Lord had killed Uzzah. Now that place is called the punishment of Uzzah. David was afraid of the Lord that day and said, How can the ark of the Lord come to, know, come to me now? So basically, here's this. They created this ark. And it, what is an ark? It was basically a box, a really holy box. They put some things inside of it, and it was gold. And you weren't supposed to touch it because it was holy. So they're, they're carrying the ark, and I believe they carried it on poles because they weren't supposed to touch it because it was holy. And, and it was just, it's a fancy box, a fancy gold box. And one of the ox stumbled, so the ark was, was gonna fall, and someone reached out to steady it, and God got pissed off and killed the guy. Now, I mean, does this sound like a loving, forgiving God to you? Like, really, there's this box. Ooh, God's special box. God's, God's special gold box. And one of the oxen stumbles, and it's about to fall, so someone reaches out to steady it because they don't want it to fall and, and break or get damaged, and God kills the guy. Does that sound like a loving, forgiving... Like, this is supposed to be the most loving being, the most forgiving being in all of existence. Does it sound, does this, something seems amiss here. Something doesn't quite add up. Joshua. Joshua Kilson. Thank you for helping us wake up the world. Says, hello, I've watched a few of your videos the past weeks. I find Hyperionism very interesting and makes sense. I grew up in a non-religious family. Religion always seemed friggin' weird to me. Religion is friggin' weird, my friend, so you're very astute. I'm glad you like my video and I, videos, and I'm glad you're interested in Hyperionism. Claire G says, can you shout out to Leela or Lila? She loves these readings. Shout out to Lila. I hope I'm saying your name right. Shout out, Lila. I'm glad that you enjoy these readings. Pack says, yes, even when I was a Christian, that part always disturbed me. All right? I mean, you know, when I was a Christian, too, I was like, this is all very, very strange, but you're so brainwashed, right? You were raised on this. You are brainwashed. You're trapped in that reality tunnel, and so you read things like this, and, you, and you're like, huh, odd, but... You see, some minds are capable of, of rational analysis, and they are able to break out of that if they're exposed to logic and reason. Uh, others can't. They're just they're just slaves to the brainwashing and slaves to their reality tunnel. And the only reason why people believe this stuff is because of brainwashing since childhood, and because so many people believe it today. If if masses and masses of people didn't believe it, no one would take this seriously. It would be like the stories of Zeus. It'd be like, no, of course, that's just a story. That's crazy. But it's because so many people believe it, it seems it seems true, right? Look, I mean, listen, guys, there are people out there who are like, oh, yeah, I pray and worship God. Why do you pray and worship God? Oh, because, you know, that old talking snake tricked the woman into and gave the man the, the forbidden apple. And now we're going to hell because of it. So I worship God. So... I don't go to hell because of the talking snake. <laughs> like, that's so stupid. If, if, 
if nobody believed this, right? If it was, but we take it as being normal because so many people believe it. But if it wasn't a normalized thing, if Christianity wasn't a normalized thing, and then some random person happened to believe in Christianity and was like, oh yeah, the talking snake guys, it's the talking snake who gave the apple to the woman and the man ate it. We're all going to burn. So we got to worship this guy in the sky because of that talking snake. Like everyone would think he was crazy. Everyone think, would think he was nuts. But because because so many people believe it, it's not strange anymore. It's like, oh yeah, that's just Christianity. So no, 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 guy, come on, come on, come on. Man, this is my drunken analysis. This is my drunken analysis. All right. Uh, <laughs> Dead Pastel shared this in a Christian group chat. Good, good, good job. Uh, Nick says drunk morgue is very smiley. I'm a happy drunk. I'm a, I don't understand these people who drink and they get angry and violent. I'm a happy drunk. That's me. So okay, he, I I'm going to do. I'm going to do another. Hi, right, should I should I have another glass of absinthe? Guys, tell me in the comments if I should have another glass of absinthe. Because I'm drunk. By the way, guys, we're having a secret a secret supporters-only live stream after this. I'm going to be, excuse me, trashed in it. If you want to be a part of the secret supporters live stream, just go to patreon.com. I'll put the link in the comments right now. That's the best way to support, okay? So the link is in the comments right now. I just put it in there. Uh, we're having a secret live stream after I'll be trashed. Um, but, uh... If you'd like to support, that's the best way to do it, and you'll get access to the secret, uh, the secret live stream. So again, once again, if you support my work, that is the best way to do it, um, and you'll get access to that secret live. And I see so many people on Facebook, guys. If you're on Facebook, remember, uh, you need to come on over to YouTube. Come on over to YouTube. That's where I interact in the comments. All right, that's where I interact in the comments. I chat with people, and I'll shout you out if you tell me that you're from uh, Facebook and you subscribed. Help us reach a million subscribers. The Unicorn Wizard says, I'm new, but I love what I have seen. Keep it up. Awesome. Welcome, Unicorn Wizard. That's a cool name. All right, I see a lot of people saying I should drink water. All right, I will drink water. Yes. Chris says, I drew morgue as a f uh, furry. Oh, is that a new one, or is that the one I saw? Did I share it on my Instagram? I think I, yeah, I think, oh, are you the one who drew that? That was a cool drawing, I liked it. Okay. Someone says, use your words, Morg. I am using my words, am I not making sense? I feel like I'm making sense. Okay, um, I, should I do another one? Uh, what glass? This is. Oh wait, I still have some left. The clan says me and Gina Harrison want to work with you. What do you guys do? Wait, Gina Harrison. Do I know Gina Harrison? Why does that name sound familiar? Wait, is that who I think it is? Oh, Gina Harrison's fucking awesome. I'd love to do something with Gina. Wait, who who said that? Who said that? Me, the clan. The clan. Yeah, what do you do? I know Gina. Um, I'm not familiar with your work, the clan. The clan, the clan. Uh, Gina's awesome. And uh, yeah, let's do something. I would love. I would love that. You guys are in Europe, though, aren't you? Anyway. Yeah, Gina, 
Gino's work is awesome. All right. Oh, oh, came over from Facebook. Welcome. Shout out to oh, oh. There's so many comments going by. If you replied to Klon, I didn't see it. So uh, send me a DM on Facebook. Macy says, where do I send fan art? Uh, DM me on, on, not Facebook, Instagram. DM me on Instagram. My Facebook messages are so overloaded. I, uh, I don't get them because there's just so many of them. So Instagram, Instagram is where you can DM me. Yes. All right, we need to look at another verse here. God, I, should I do another drink? I am quite drunk. I am quite drunk. Josh Kushner from Facebook, shout out. All right, all right, vote, vote right now in comments. Tell me, tell me, yes. Another glass, yes or no? Yes, hashtag MMM. For those who don't know, hashtag MMM is uh, Million Monad March. <laughs> I, you guys, I drank a whole glass of water. How much? How much water shall I drink? Are you guys seriously telling me not to not to drink? <laughs> you guys are telling me not to drink more? How trashed am I? Am I that trashed that you guys... If the internet is telling you not to drink more, that's a bad sign. Because the internet is a horrible place that just wants to see you fail. So, <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a good sign if the internet is saying, no, 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 you've had enough. Uh, shout me out, Morg. I'm a huge fan. Jesse. Shout out to Jesse! Donnell says you have to pee. I do have to pee. Tobit 8? Tobit? I don't think Tobit is an actual... <laughs> Walter suggested Tobit 8? I don't think Tobit exists. That's not a book in the Bible. Unless I'm crazy, <laughs> I've never heard of Tobit. That's not a thing. That's not a... I'm just checking because I've had a lot to drink, but I am no, that's not that doesn't exist. You are making you are making verses up. Um Oh, Spectra Amunari. I'm sorry, I missed you. Thank you for helping us wake up the world. Uh I didn't see you there. All right, so let's do another one. Uh, no, I seriously, someone, yeah, we're almost at 500 likes. I really hope we don't get a thousand likes because I, a thousand likes, because I do not want to do an absinthe shot at this point. I do not want to do an absinthe shot at this point. No, thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Sandra. Sandra says, "Sandra says, please stay hydrated, Morg. We worry about you." Yes. Thank you. I will. Um... Well, I'm not reading the Catholic Apocrypha. I'm reading the 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 Christian Bible. The Apocrypha was is banned from the Christian Bible. The Apocrypha is not part of the Christian Bible. All right, can you, yes, here we go. God damn it, that was a lot. I poured way more, see. Damn it, that was too much. Oh my lord. Oh my lord, you guys are going to be the death of me. Why is it banned? There are a lot of books that are banned in the Bible. 
such as the Gospel of Judas, uh, I believe the Gospel of Mary, the Book of Enoch, all these Gnostic books. Remember we talked about Gnostic Christianity? Uh, Christians did not like what Gnostics had to say. So these books were considered blasphemous and banned from the Bible. Gnostic Christianity is very cool. All right, we got that going. So we got that going. Everyone wants me to take my clothes off. Why is everyone trying to get me to take my clothes off? We're not... <laughs> what? Okay, hold on. J.S. Clay says read banned books. Uh, some, sometime I will. Um, not this time though, because the banned books are completely different. The banned books actually have a lot of interesting and good things to say. Um, okay, so here, here's what we're gonna do. I have another thing dripping, drip dropping over there. What's that called? Absinthe. That's the name of it. I have another glass of absinthe drip dropping over there. Uh, I have to pee. So, I'm gonna go pee while that fills up. Hopefully it doesn't overflow while I go. Um, and when I come back, uh, someone, someone super chat me a... A, a verse to read and we'll crack that open and for those of you who are on Facebook now's a good time there are so there are 500 of you on Facebook guys we've had a hundred thousand subscribers who want to get to a million come on over to YouTube subscribe I'll shout you out and um, that is where I'm interacting in the comments okay guys so come on over and yeah All right, I have returned. I have returned, let's see. Okay, is that? Let's just turn this on real quick, make it go faster. Who is it? Darcy Hutchcroft, Elena Anderson, Spectra Amunari and Zelatov. Thank you for helping us wake up the world. Whoa. Corey Shaw, thank you for helping us wake up the world with your 666. Ah, damn it. Okay. With this setup too, with this new setup, so you notice, you notice I have books up here, books down here, and then this section is something other than books. I'd like to have interesting things here. So I always want to hear suggestions from you guys of what could go here. So maybe switch it up from time to time. Someone suggest suggested like Hyperion Art of the Month or something like that. I'm always curious, uh, you know, of cool, you know, if you guys have good ideas of cool things we could put back there. Amy Rippy just arrived from Facebook. Welcome. Welcome, welcome from Facebook. Donnell says, oh God, pace yourself. Yeah. I'm really not. I should be. I really should be. I have to remember 
See, I need to look at the camera when I'm speaking to you guys. I have this habit of looking at the chat because, you know, that's where you're talking. But, but I forget that there's a camera. Okay, so let's see. Who, um, what, 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 what? Uh, uh, we have some suggestions here. Darcy wants Deuteronomy. Darcy wants Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy, what? Deuteronomy, what? Deuteronomy, what? 28. Thirty. Okay. Twenty-eight. Thirty. Oh my. Oh wow. I mean, this is horrible. What? This is some this is this is some sick shit. Okay, let's see. Um Well, I I I'm just getting distracted because because she had suggested but there's a lot of there's a lot of bullshit before it, too. All right, let's just read the whole thing. Let's just read the whole thing because this is crazy. I'm going to read more than what what who was it that suggested? Who was it? Who is this? Darcy. Darcy. Hi, Darcy. Okay. This is a lot more. I'll let you know when we get to the part that Darcy wanted. But if you do not obey the Lord your God and carefully follow all his commandments and laws I am giving you today, all these curses will come upon you and stay. You will be cursed in the city and cursed in your country. Your basket and your kitchen will be cursed. Your children will be cursed. That doesn't seem fair. As well as your crops, the calves of your herds, and the lambs of your flocks will be cursed. You will be cursed when you go in and when you go out. There's a lot of cursing happening here. God, God's doing a lot of cursing. Sounds kind of like God's into witchcraft. The Lord will send you curses confusion and punishment in everything you do. You will be destroyed and suddenly ruined because you did wrong when you left him. The Lord will give you terrible diseases and destroy you from the land you are going to take. The Lord will punish you with disease, fever, swelling, heat, lack of rain, plant diseases, and mildew. Ah, oh, not the mildew! Until you die. God damn the mildew. That was, that's, what, that's what did it for me. The sky above will be like bronze and the ground below like iron. The Lord will turn the rain into dust and sand which will fall from the skies until you are destroyed. The Lord will help your enemies defeat you. You will attack them from one direction, but you will run from them in seven directions. And you will become a thing of horror among all the kingdoms on earth. Your dead bodies will be food for all the birds and wild animals and there will be no one to scare them away oh no the lord will punish you with boils like those the egyptians had you will have bad growth sores and itches that can't be cured cureless itches the lord will give you madness blindness blindness and a confused mind you will have to feel around in the daylight like a blind person you will fail in everything you do People will hurt you and steal from you every day, and no one will save you. So, that's just that part. We didn't even get to what Darcy wanted. So here now is what Darcy wanted. You will be engaged to a woman, but another man will force her to have sexual relations with him. Oh, that's horrible. So the woman you're engaged to, some guy's gonna come rape, rape her. What did she do? She did nothing. Ugh. 
You will be engaged to a woman, but another man will force her to have sexual relations with him. You will build a house, but you will not live in it. You will plant a vineyard, but you will not get its grapes. Your ox will be killed before your eyes, but you will not eat any of it. Your donkey will be taken away. <laughs> not the donkey, and it will not be brought back. They're not bringing the donkey back, guys. Your sheep will be given to your enemies, and no one will save you. Not the sheep! The sheep and the donkey! Oh my god. Your sons and daughters will be given to another nation, and you will grow tired of looking for them every day, but there will be nothing you can do. I'm just, I'm, I'm just, this is well past what, what Darcy wanted, but we're, we're keeping, we're, we're going, we're trucking through this. People you know will eat the crops, your land and hard work have produced. You will be mis mistreated and abused all your life. The things you see will cause you to go mad. The Lord will give you sore boils on your knees and legs that cannot be cured, and they will go from the soles of your feet to the tops of your head. The Lord will send you and your king away to a nation neither you nor your ancestors know, where you will serve other gods made of wood and stone. You will be hated in the nations where the Lord sends you. They will laugh and make fun of you. You're going to get trolled. Major trolled. Major trolling. Locusts will eat your crops. I'm just, I'm, I'm, this goes on and on. You will have olive trees in all your land, but you will not get any olive oil because the olives will drop off your trees. Your, your olive trees, no olives for you. You will have sons and daughters, but you will not be able to keep them because they will be taken captive. That's not fair, again. Locusts will destroy all your trees and crops. All these curses will come upon you. You will be hungry, thirsty, naked, and poor. Oh my god. This just goes and goes and goes and goes and goes. There's no end to this, guys. There's just a lot of, of, of donkey theft and sheep theft. and But I mean, what Darcy suggested is the worst. Seriously. You will be engaged to a woman, but another man will, will rape her. What did she do? What did she do? This is... Do you see why? Okay, again. What, what, what meta... Again. Forget the logic, forget science, reason, mathematics, art, you know, exploring the mind. Clearly, there's some deep enlightenment within this. No, this is horrible. This is hor this is horrible. This is horrible. This is horrible. Anyway, thank you for that, Darcy. That was that was a very good suggestion. Someone says, Jeffrey says, why is this happening? Because they were, uh, what, what, what was the reason? I, I closed the book. It was just if you, um, if you, if you disobeyed God, if you disobeyed God, this would happen. Uh, okay, let me see if I, Era Winters, thank you for helping us wake up the world, says interesting way to spend a Thursday afternoon. Yes, yes, indeed. Dana Mazur wants Judges. Ooh, Judges is a fucked up book. They're all they're all pretty fucked up. JS Clay says Demiurge needs some anger management. Kevin also says she did nothing. But what the fuck did he do? Yeah, just disobeyed God, I mean. How do you get your hair that long? You just don't cut it. You just don't cut it and hey, it grows. I'd like to know the specific punishment for someone such as me, a witch. <laughs> Well, I mean, if you look at history, yeah, you weren't treated too well. I mean, you know, the whole burning and torture thing. Yeah, uh, which is which is not too um, not too good. Lysol is pretty good for mi mildew. Yeah. Science shall triumph over God's curse of mildew. Chris BRM says, so do you believe in God? Yes, I do believe in God because I believe in me. And I am God, and so are you. We are God. That's what, you know, again, once again in Hyperionism, we are God. We're not atheists, 
We believe God exists because we believe we exist. We are God. We are the universe. We are all reality. We are the Hegelian absolute. We are the actualization of Abraxian consciousness. We are God. So yes, don't mistake, don't mistake us. We are not, we are not atheists. We are not atheists because we know that we exist, clearly. Okay. <laughs> Lee says, my bleach is more powerful than his curse. Dysphoric Nick says, how can you say those big words while head over ass drunk? What big words did I... I don't... Am I using big words? Good, excellent, excellent. All right. We need... Once again, guys, remember that we're going to have a secret supporters live stream after this. Uh, pretty soon. Pretty soon. And I'm going to be trashed in it. And if you want to, that's the best way to support. Um, so if you want to be a part of our secret live stream that's happening over this, or after this, I can't even say it. I'm putting the link in the comments right now. Once again, there's still almost 500 of you on Facebook. Uh, come on over. Come on over to, to YouTube. Oh, says Rebecca, Rebecca London says, hello from Facebook. Ah, appropriate. Uh, from Facebook, been a fan. Thank you for coming over from Facebook. Joshua Kemp says, Morg, I just switched from Facebook. Shout me out. I just subscribed. You consider yourself shouted out. You are shouted out, shouted. You are out, shouted. What's your favorite story in the Bible, though? Revelations. <laughs> I'm slurring that. Re Revelations. Revelations. Revelations is a great book. I mean, not a good book. It's just... Uh, I'm not even get getting... Revelations is interesting. Revelations is in in interesting. Uh, pu <laughs> Puss Puss Slayer. 6969. Well, again... Fantastic name. Puss Puss Slayer 6969. <laughs> this genius. Um, just switched over from Facebook. Welcome. Thank you for switching from Facebook. Please subscribe. We're at, we're at 552 likes. Let's get those likes up. Let's get those likes up. Remember, uh, 666 likes is when... 666 likes is when the shirt comes off. It's 666 likes is when the shirt comes off. But I don't think you guys are going to do it. 666 likes is shirt off. 1,000 likes is absinthe shot. I do not want to do an absinthe shot, but I do not think you guys are going to get 1,000 likes. 666, maybe? I don't know. I don't think you guys can do 666 likes either, but we'll see. Uh, John Staples says, I also came from Facebook. Forgiveness for not subscribing sooner. Thank you for subscribing from Facebook. Come on over. Come on over to YouTube. You guys might be wondering, why do I interact on YouTube? If you're in Facebook right now, you probably notice there's a shit ton of trolls on Facebook. Yeah, so it's really hard to do videos and have a interesting discussion when there's so many trolls. That's why I interact on YouTube. It's a, it's, it's a much, much healthier environment. And Dane Marsh says, oh my god, share your asses off. Let's get to a thousand. No, I really don't want to take an absinthe shot. Like, that's... I'm already fucking drunk. I still have a drink to go. Um. Oh my god, you guys are almost at 600 likes. Jesus Christ, you guys. Slow down. Stop. Stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Okay. Rebecca London, thank you for helping us wake up the world. I don't... Where are all the... Uh... Katsuo came from Facebook. Love what you're about. Also a subscriber. Thank you. Shout out to you. Um. All right. What 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 did someone want? Judges. Who was this? This was from Dana. It wants judges. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Judges. Nineteen twenty-two. 
Christopher Hyde says, Oh, I was really hoping you'd get into the description of the Antichrist, LOL. Also, where do I find the like button? The like button's... I don't know. It should be, like, right down here. Uh, but the Antichrist, well, the Antichrist is fantastic. I mean, who doesn't love the Antichrist? I do. I do. I mean, it's just fantastic, really. Katsuo, you said my name pretty well, lol. Oh, is that not correct? It's Katsuo, you said pretty well, so it's not totally well? H how do I pronounce it correctly, completely? Oh, Katsuyo. Katsu Katsuyo. Katsu what did I say? Katsuo? Katsuyo? No, I think I said it right. Anyway. Trava Faust, thank you for helping us wake up the world. It says, love you all with lots of emojis. Mushrooms and, and fairies. All right. My God. Zillotov says, pace yourself, do doofus. <laughs> yeah, I should, huh? Soshi says his name is Donald Trump. Do not muddy the name of the Antichrist with Donald Trump. Donald Trump is not the Antichrist. Donald Trump is just a buffoon. <laughs> Donald Trump is not... No. Uh... No. He's just, a, he's just a buffoon who brags about being able to understand... The difference between a crocodile and an elephant. If you don't know what I'm referencing, check out the the, the cognitive test he just took. Um, oh my God! You guys got those likes up fast. What the fuck? Jesus Christ! You guys. Uh, judges. What's wrong with you guys? You guys don't hit the like button. I barely mentioned my shirt coming off and you fucking skyrock that shit. Skyrocket that shit. Where's judges? Crystal Sanborn. Thank you for helping us wake up the world. Look at you guys. Yeah, you guys can't see. Well, if I put the chat on right now, you guys are ridiculous. Share, share, share. Hit the like button. So you guys are fucking. You guys are fucked up. Uh, judges. Oh my god, it's at 650 likes. All right. Well, I have to take a piss. Hold on. Let me go pee. Arr. All right, you guys are at 664, my god. Oh my god, guys, I am trash. This was a horrible idea. Why did I, why absinthe? Remember in the comments, suggest, uh, ah, it's that, oh my god. Y'all had to hit that like button, didn't you? You had to do it, didn't you? You had to do it, didn't you? That <laughs> Corey Shaw says I told you guys good job get it and donated 666 alright alright motherfuckers motherfuckers remember in the comments too after this suggest other drinks for me to try and I'll probably do the top the top voted drink and I'll do it the first time on live um Oh my god. Alright, what are you guys... Yeah, you're at 680 likes. Fine. Screw you guys. Screw you guys. You don't hit the like button just for me, but as soon as I have to do something, then you guys hit that like button. I see. 
I see how it is. God damn, there you go. Are you happy? Are you happy now? Are you happy now? It's cold. It is cold in here. My computer's been overheating, so I have the AC, the AC, uh, AC cranked on. So it's 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 not warm. It's not. Luckily, the alcohol is warming. Elise says, "Can we get some music?" <laughs> Fucking David, <laughs> David, uh, David, super chatted hundred bucks and and said six six six. Thank you, David. Thank you, David. <laughs> David, you're awesome. What are we? You guys want me to take my pants off? What's wrong with you guys? No, not taking my pants off. I will take my pants off for eight eight hundred likes. Eight hundred likes and the pants will come off. Sure, why not? Eight hundred likes for the pants off. Dad, dysphoric Nick says David single-handedly funds this movement. I mean, you're not wrong. Let's say, what should we send for David? Which version do I read from? This is the uh, New Century version. NCV. NC. Can you see that? NCV, New Century Version. This is a Bible I've had for a very fucking long time. This is the Bible that I took to Jesus camp. Let's, uh, what are we sending for David? Someone's doing Omega Spheres already, so let's do some Omega Spheres for David. What would be the point he seated? Well, I do a little show for you guys. I do a little... <laughs> what am I saying? Why am I trying to convince you of this? I don't know. I don't know. What did I say? 800? Damn it! Why did I say 800? That's not that hard to do. You're already at almost 700. Fuck. Why did I say that? Why? Yes, let's get those those Omega Spheres going. <laughs> alright, alright. Yes, pants off and stand. I will. Okay, yes. That's what I will do. That's... Yes. Yes. Ah, she's... The things I do for blasphemy. The things I do for blasphemy. Okay. Uh, what did we want? Jeremiah. Or no, 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 no. Judges? Did we do judges? This is from Dana. We never got to Judges. We got distracted by you guys making me take my shirt off. Judges, uh, 19. Remember, if you're on Facebook, come on over to YouTube. Help us get to a million. And I'll shout you out. I will shout you motherfuckers out. 19. My apologies, Megan. I know, drink some more. I know, it's horrible, right, Megan? Uh, what am I doing? Judges? Okay, I'm in Judges. Judges what? 19, 19, check. 22. Pants aren't coming off unless unless I get 800 likes. Which is too fucking low. I don't know why I said that. God damn it, you guys. And a thousand is an absinthe shot. I do not want to do an absinthe shot right now, so please do not get to a thousand. Uh, 19, 22. I do not want to do an absinthe shot, I, I tell you that right fucking now. Um, uh, 19, 22 through 29. So 19, 22. Okay. While they were enjoying themselves... Oh, yeah, yeah. While they were enjoying themselves, some wicked men of the city surrounded the house and beat on the door. They shouted to the old man who owned the house, Bring out the man who came to your house. We want to have sex with him. 
The owner of the house went out and said to them, No, my friends, don't be so evil. This man is a guest in my house. Don't do this terrible thing. Look, here are, are, look, here are my daughters. Here are my daughter? That's some weird pronoun... That's weird... That's weird. Okay, here are my daughter. That's what it says. I'm not drunk. Here are my daughter. Well, I am drunk, but... Uh, who has never had sex before and the man's slave woman. I will bring them out to you now. Do anything you want with them, but don't do such a terrible thing to this man. To the, to this man. But the man would not listen to him. So... The Levite took his slave woman and sent her outside to them. They forced her to have sex with them, and they abused her all night long. Then at dawn they let her go. She came back to the house where her master was staying and fell down at the door and lay there until de uh, daylight. In the morning, when the Levite got up, he opened the door of the house and went outside to go on his way, but his slave woman was laying on the doorway of the house with her hands on the door sill. The Levite said to her, get up, let's go, but she did not answer, so he put her on the donkey and went home. When the Levite got home, he took a knife and cut his slave woman into twelve parts, limb by limb. Then he sent a part to each area of Israel. Everyone who said this said nothing like this has ever happened before not since the people of Israel came out of Egypt think about it tell us what to do my god yeah okay so this is all about wow yeah this is really fucked up so they were people were banging on the door of the house of this guy and they wanted to have sex with his guest and he said, no, don't do this. So he sent out a slave woman instead, and they raped her until she died. And then he cut her into 12 parts and sent her, sent her across the land. Like, do you see, do you see how, cra how, how fucked up this is? Please tell me why do people get mad at me when I say that maybe... This isn't such a good book. Maybe we shouldn't teach this to people. How crazy, how crazy, how fucked up is it, right? I said, I hope that one day we will be free of this, right? So crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, who did I miss? Carrie Leah, thank you for helping us wake up the world. A $50 super chat donation, thank you so much. And Pax uh, suggested numbers. Okay, I'll, uh, thank you, uh, Pax. Mick. Oh, Jesus. Ugh. Mickey. <laughs> Mickey Nelson, thank you for helping us wake up the world. I really enjoy these drunk Bible readings. We're exposing the Bible for what it really is. I know Christians that just blindly follow it but have no idea about the crazy stuff in the Bible. I mean, that's the thing, right? So you have some Christians that follow it and they have no idea about this crazy stuff. But other people actually do and they just don't care. Like, for example, my family, my family knew about all of this. Like that story we just read, I was read to that. I was That was read to me as a child. But it wasn't. It wasn't like they just didn't know about it. They did. But they just overlooked it. It's crazy. It's crazy. This is why it's mental child abuse. Anyway. Uh, oh. Drink another glass. God, I still have some more left. I'm pretty trashed. So good point, Mickey. And But who was it? It was Carrie Leah that, that super chatted to 50. Let's... um. What should we send? Let's do some Ad Astras for Carrie. We need to get some new emojis too. Yes, Moonbat pants pants off at 800 likes. Stop reminding people. Do not remind the people about the pants coming off at, at, at 800. Uh, oh, Declan says, work with me and Gina Harrison. Soon I'm her flatmate. Yeah. I'd love to work with you and Gina Harrison. That would be fucking awesome. 
Let's do something. Let's do a shoot. Let's do something. I don't care. We'll live stream it. But you guys are in Europe, aren't you? Americans are banned from Europe. I can't, I can't go there. Uh, let me know. I would love to work with you and Gina. Um, I'm not sure what you do. Are you a photographer or... Uh, Apologies that I don't know what you do, but but I'm familiar with Gina. I would love to. Gina does amazing work. I would I would love to do that. If it's possible, let's do something. Um, Deathbat says so. This turned into strip Bible reading. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. But pants aren't coming off till eight hundred. Not till eight hundred. Um. All right. All right, what are we doing here? We still have 400 people on Facebook. Oh, see, and someone some, on Facebook, Katie, says, I love your mentality. I love what you think about life. That's awesome. Thank you. But please come on over to YouTube. Share this video everywhere if you're on Facebook. But come on over to YouTube. Subscribe. Help us re reach a million subscribers. Sandra says, never know what kinds of insanity will occur in these streams. Yeah. God damn it, you guys are getting close to 800. What's it at? 720? Stop! Stop liking this video. Stop it. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Magali, welcome. Madison says, man, I've been following you since the MySpace days. My God, awesome, awesome, Madison. That was a while ago. <laughs> I was pretty fucking popular on MySpace. Um, yeah, that was a long time ago. Who remembers MySpace? Jesus, MySpace was fun. MySpace was cool. Oh my God, 730 likes. Stop it, stop, stop, stop it right now. Stop, 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 stop. Stop, 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 stop. All right, someone give me a Bible verse. MySpace was not 20 years ago. I'm not that old, jeez. MySpace was not 20 years ago. That was more like what? That was more like what, 12 years ago? Something like that, 12 years? I don't know. When was when was that? I don't know. Maybe more like fifteen. Nah, no, 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 no. More like twelve. Anyway, was it fifteen? Oh my god, maybe it was fifteen. Jeez. Someone says twelve. Twelve years. That sounds about right. Since sounds about right, probably like 12 years. Probably like 12 years, yeah. Okay, I need to finish this glass. Ugh. Okay, John, um, Ralph? Ralph wants Revelations 20? Well, Revelations, okay, I'll look up Revelations for you, Ralph. But I have a feeling Revelations isn't, Revelations is interesting. Um, Revelations is interesting, but I'll look up your verse, but I have a feeling it's not going to be, anyway. Revelations is 20, 21 through 5. Well, see, okay, yeah. I saw an angel coming down from heaven. He had the key to the bottomless pit and a large chain in his, in his hand. The angel grabbed the dragon, that old snake who is the devil, and Satan, and tied him up for a thousand years. Then he drew him, uh, drew, threw him into a bottomless pit, closed it, and locked it over him. The angel did this so he could not trick the people of the earth anymore until the thousand years were ended. After a thousand years, he must be set free for a short time. So, okay. Then I saw thrones, some thrones and people sitting on them who had been given the power to judge. And I saw the souls of those who had been killed because they were faithful to the message of Jesus and the message from God. They had not worshipped the beast or his idol, and they had not received the mark of the beast on their foreheads or on their hands. They came back to life and ruled with Christ for a thousand years. Now, this, okay, Revelations is in a different category. I, I, 
perhaps at some point I'll do a video on revelations, but this is uh, an individual having visions. Um, and we could liken this to perhaps a psychedelic trip or something else. I, I, I'm not going to discuss this intoxicated, but... Uh, dig dig but but thank you for suggesting that because there is there is something to talk about here but it's a different category from what we're talking about today but thank you for suggesting that but uh, okay so dig dig 17 wants Leviticus okay let's look that up uh, J Mac and D Lynch thank you for helping us wake up the world Uh, what what is um, dig dig want Leviticus twenty six through uh, twenty six twenty seven? And for the, the who who was it the clan talking about working with with you and Gina Harrison? Make sure you send me a DM on Instagram. Send me a DM on Instagram. I would love to talk about something we could do photo shoot or, or something. All right. What are we looking up? Leviticus 26, 27, right? All right. 26. Leviticus 26. Twenty-seven. If you still refuse to listen to me and still turn against me, I will show punish you seven more times for your sins. You will eat the bodies of your sons and daughters. Wow. Oh my God. Like, look at this. Remember that whole... Like, let me go... I'm going to go a little bit prior to what was suggested here. Remember that whole list of, you know, God sending mildew and also raping your wife, having your wife raped? Here, this is a completely other section. This is a completely different section, okay? I need another drink for this. This is a completely different section. But if you do not obey me, and keep all my commands, all right? So if you don't keep all the commandments of God, let, let, let's let see what will happen if you don't keep all of God's commandments. Remember, this is the most forgiving and loving being in the world. So if you don't obey all his commands, and if you turn away from my rules and hate my laws, refusing to obey my commandments, you have broken our agreement. As a result, I will do this to you. I will cause terrible things to happen to you. I will cause you to have disease and fever that will destroy your eyes and slowly kill you. You will not have success when you plant your seeds and your enemies will eat your crops. I will be against you and your enemies will defeat you. These people who hate you will rule over you and you will run away even when no one is chasing you. <laughs> That's kind of funny. You're going to run away even when no one's chasing you. You're just like, oh my god. Fuck. There's no one. Holy shit. Run. <laughs> That's funny. You will run away even when no one is chasing you. If after all this, you still do not obey me. And that's pretty scary. Come on. I will punish you seven times more for your sins. I will break your great pride. And I will make the sky like iron and the earth like bronze. You will work hard, but it will not help. Your land will not grow any crops, and your trees will not give their fruit. If you still turn against me and refuse to obey me, I will beat you seven times harder. The more you sin, the more you will be punished. I will send wild animals to attack you, and they will take your children away from you and destroy your cattle. Like, poor kids. They didn't even do anything. But now, all right, the kids are dead. They will make you so few in number, the roads will be empty. If you don't learn your lessons after all these things, and if you still turn against me, I will also turn against you. I will punish you seven times more for your sins. You broke my agreement, and I will punish you. I will bring armies against you, and if you go into your cities for safety, I will cause diseases to spread among you so that your enemy will defeat you. There will be very little bread to eat. Ten women 
will be able to cook all your bread in one oven. They will measure each piece of bread and you will eat, but you will still be hungry. Oh, man. If you still refuse to listen to me and still turn against me, I will show you my great anger. I will punish you seven more times for your sins. You will eat the bodies of your sons and daughters. I will destroy your places where gods are worshipped and cut down your incense altars. I will pile your dead bodies on the lifeless forms of your idols. I will hate you. All loving being, right? Infinitely, lo infinitely loving being. I will hate you. This is so stupid. Oh my god. How does anyone take this seriously? This world is so weird. People are so weird. This world is so weird. I will destroy your cities and make your holy places empty. And I will not smell the pleasing smell of your offerings. I will make the land empty so that your enemies who come to live in it will be shocked at it. I will scatter you among the nations. I will pull out my sword and destroy you. Your land will become empty. Your cities a waste. When you are taken to your enemy's country, your land will finally get its rest. Those who are left alive will lose their courage. They will be frightened by the sound of a leaf being blown the wind. Oh my god, a leaf. They will run as if someone were chasing them with a sword, and they will fall even when no one is chasing them. What is this obsession with running away from from there being nobody there? Oh my, this, is, this seems to be a favorite curse of God. They will fall over each other as if someone were chasing them with a sword, even though no one is chasing them. He's really emphasizing this. You will be not strong enough to stand against your enemies. You will die among other nations. So those who are left alive will rot away in their enemies' countries because of their sins. They will also rot away because of their ancestors' sins. So they're just going to die because of their ancestors' sins. My God. My God. May Lewis, thank you for helping us wake up the world. Uh, an 80s retro review. Thank you for helping us wake up the world. Just Flex says, ah, a leaf. Yeah, watch out for those leaves. Tara Violet says, I feel like my IQ is dropping listening to the Bible. Yeah. Yes. Yes. A.S. Uh, Zuyu said, after this, we need to find the story of Job. He literally lets the devil kill his family just to test his faith. Yeah, in the story of Job, God lets the devil kill Job's family. And Job isn't a bad guy. Job is a great guy. That's the whole thing about the story of Job, is that Job is like the most righteous man in the world. And God says, look at Job. He's the most righteous man. He loves me, he obeys me, and the devil's like, oh yeah, Job just loves you because you bless him. So God says, okay, fine, do whatever you want to Job. And so God lets the devil do all these horrible things to Job, including killing his family, just to show that Job won't stop believing in God. Kai says, been a follower of you ever since I saw you on the Venice Beach Freak Show. I wrote a poem about you. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad. Brenda Elizabeth says it sounds like a Jason movie. Yeah. Megan Winkler, thank you for helping us wake up the world. What are we at? We're at 744 likes. Good. You're not getting to You're not getting to 800. 800 is where the pants come off. But I don't think you guys are going to get to 800. All right. I don't know if I should have another drink. Should I have another drink? I don't. I'm pretty. I'm pretty fucking trashed. I'm not gonna lie. Mickey Nelson says, "I wonder if the Bible, whether or not there are different levels of suffering in hell." Oh, I wonder if the Bible says whether or not there are different levels of suffering in hell. I don't think that the Bible directly says that. What is that like, uh, Dante, that has the seven levels of hell? Um. No, in, in the Bible itself, it doesn't say anything like that as far as I know. I think that was something, the seven le le levels of hell was brought in by, uh, in, in, in Dante's story.
Remember, guys, we're still going to have a secret live stream after this. If you want to be a part of it, support on Patreon. Brianna Doss says, please say hi to me. Hello, Brianna. Uh, you can support on Patreon.com slash official. I just put the link in the comments. That's the best way to support. We're going to do a supporters-only secret live stream after this. So go do that. Help us wake up the world. Um... Dane Marsh says, Dante's Inferno is the only reference to hell and gradient punishment. Yeah. I believe you are correct, my friend. That's that's how I view it as well. Uh, we're at 750 likes. Oh, fuck. That's not good. That's actually getting kind of close to 800. Shit. All right. I have to pee once again. And I'm out of absinthe. I have to use the bathroom. Let me know if I should have another glass or not, and I'll decide when I when I return. But let me know. I'm gonna go take a piss, and please don't get to 800 likes. We're at 755. God damn it! God damn it! All right, be right back.
All right. I have returned. Douglas says absinthe is a very different buzz. Yes, it is. It's a lot different than um, it hits you really hard and fast, and it's kind of hard to tell how much that you've had. It's it's it, yes, it's very different. It's very different. Oh my God, seven seventy five likes. You guys are crazy. What did oh El Bebe? Oh wait, who? Oh my god, El Bebe donated another $50. Jesus. David, you're awesome. Alana, Alana, thank you. Alana, go piss, drink water, and do your patrons only stream. <laughs> uh, Scarlet says Deuteronomy 23.1. I think a lot of churchgoers missed the memo. Just joined your Patreon. Thank you so much for the support. Love your work. Keep spreading the knowledge. Absolutely. You'll be able to be a part of our secret live stream. Awesome. Thank you so much, Karina. Capucci, thank you for helping us wake up the world. So wait, what are we doing? Uh, David, let's send let's send something for David. Uh, ooh. Let's send some tri scales. Tri scales over for David. Tri scales for David. Roxanne Noble says you're extremely wasted. I know. I know. I know. I mean, I kind of know. It's hard to tell with absent. Arjun is here. Oh, hello, Arjun. Hello, Arjun. I didn't know you were here. Hello. Hello. All right. What are we... What are we doing? Paranormal Weird Mommy 32 Anastasia. Thank you for helping us wake up the world. Someone suggested a verse. What was it? Mm. Deuteronomy 23.1. Deuteronomy 23.1. Deuteronomy 23.1. What is Deuteronomy 23.1? Oh, we read this already. I'll read it again. But hey, you, you must have not. We read this in the beginning of the stream. Uh, no man who has part of his sex organ. <laughs> this is a, a stream favorite, apparently. No man who has part of his sex organ cut off may come into the meeting to worship the Lord. Yeah, that's weird. Doesn't doesn't that mean that if you're that would mean that if you're circumcised, you can't go in to worship the Lord. Yeah, weird, weird shit. <laughs> so, Raven says, drink more, drink more, drink more. No water. You are mean. Elena Anderson, thank you for helping us wake up the world. Uh, we're at 781 likes. Holy shit. That's only 21 away, or not 21, uh, 19 away from uh, 800. Jesus. No. No. Stop it. Stop it. All right, what are we going to do here? Because... So she says, get some food in you. I can't make food right now. Thank you, though. Once again, if you are on Facebook, I saw someone ask on Facebook, is this live? It is, but come on over to YouTube. That's where I'm interacting on the comments. The link is in the description or it's in the comments. Come on over. Come on over. That's where it's happening. It's on YouTube. Help us reach a million subscribers. We we reached 100,000 last month month I can't talk I didn't say month I said munch do you see do you see do you see do you see what is happening Ellen Lovebug thank you for the stars but come on over to Facebook okay uh, come on over to YouTube not Facebook 
Shadow Gamer and IS Zuyas. Thank you for helping us wake up the world. All right. Oh God, you guys are getting close to 800. I should just stop the stream before you guys get to 800. I should just stop. I should just stop because you guys are five likes away. Oh no. <laughs> No 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 stop 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 it stop 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 for no why 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 do you do this why do you do this internet why I share knowledge with you and you don't push like I I I put but 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 pants coming off that's that's what does it huh oh god Oh god. Oh god. God damn you. God damn you. All right, fine. 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 Fine, you guys. Fine. Fine. That's what you want? <laughs> White rabbit. White rabbit says ooh woo. How do you pronounce that? I know it's I know what it is, but are you okay? Hi, hi, White Rabbit. Nice to see you. Yes, I'm fine. I'm just dandy. I'm just fantastic. So, all right, fine. Pants are coming off. Let me see how I can do this. I have to piss again. Can you guys? All right. Yeah, I guess that works. Fine. Fine. There. Are you happy now? Are you happy now? It's extra cold. Now it's very cold in here. Very fucking cold. But congratulations. 800, 800 likes. Uh, good, good job. Good job, guys. Way to go. Bombarder, thank you for helping us wake up the world. Macy says you've got to be freezing. Yes. <laughs> Someone says underwear off next. I can't do that. I can't do that. YouTube would not... The internet would break. Look at my hair is all fucked up. The internet would break. Whoa, I'm sliding all over the place. Let me put myself back up there. My God, you guys. All right, all right, all right. You guys are getting crazy. You guys are getting um, ridiculous. Dragon Girl Forty Eight says, "Wow, I joined at the right time. At the right time." Arjun says, "Morg took one for the revolution. Got to do what you got to do. Got to do what you got to do to raise the consciousness of humanity, right? If you gotta, you gotta lose the pants for that. That's what you got." What the hell? Rick Meyer says, now that your piece will shrivel up to a stack of dimes, will you still be smiling? I don't know what you're talking about, but thank you for the five dollars. What are you, what are you talking about? Now that your piece will shrivel up to a stack of dimes, will you still be smiling? I don't. Why is that going to happen? Is that a curse from the Lord? Am I going to run from nobody and be scared of leaves? And... Claire G, thank you for helping us wake up the world. No! You guys are now saying let's get to a thousand. No! No, 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 no. No, seriously. I do not want to take an absinthe shot. Oh, the cold. Oh, Rick Meyer says the cold. It makes your penis shrink. <laughs> oh, I, I see what you're saying. I understand. I understand now. I understand. Someone wants to know if I'm circumcised. Well, guess what? I'll reveal that in the secret patrons only live stream. So we're gonna have the secret patrons only live stream. Guess what? So we're gonna have a secret stream in just a few minutes. We're gonna do it. 
Uh, oh, Trevor Faust says, you're beautiful with or without costume, pure beauty. Thank you. Thank you so much. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a secret supporters live stream. I'm going to do, I'm going to drink one more. Oh, Jesus. I've had a lot to drink. I'm going to have one more glass of absinthe. Sandra Hanan, thank you for helping us wake up the world. I'm going to have one more glass of absinthe. Oh, I'm out of sugar. All right. I'll have one more glass of absinthe without the um, sugar. Uh, but let's have the secret stream. If you guys want to be a part of the secret stream, I'm going to put the link in the comments right now. Right now. So the link is in the comments for the for the secret stream, which we're going to have in just a few minutes here. And I'll have one more glass. Oh, Jesus. I don't know why, but I will. And I'll have that. I will get that. Get that going. Kai, thank you for helping us wake up the world. What did Kai say? Just joined Patreon to support you too. Can't wait. Awesome. Thank you so much. That's the best way to support. Oh, uh, D. Lynch and Sandra Hanan, thank you for helping us wake up the world. D says, I love drunk Bible reading. I'm glad you enjoy it, my friend. I enjoy it too. So, let's see. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this thing. What's... Um, going on right now? Yes. Okay. So... We're going to have our secret supporters only live stream. I just put the link in the comments so that you can be a part of that. And we are going to do that in just a few minutes. So go check it out. That's the best way to support. Big shout out to everyone who likes, subscribes, and shares this video. Big shout out to all the likes. Uh, you know, like, subscribe, share. That's the best way. Or, you know, Well, not the best way, but a really helpful way to support. And um, <laughs> David, oh my God, David donated again, says... For the 800 best live stream so far in total, my friend, <laughs> Mr. Beast, sign out. Thank you so much, David. You're fucking awesome. We'll get those uh, party lights. Party lights going for David for being fucking awesome. Thank you so much, David. Um, so big shout out to David for being the top supporter of this stream. That's going to update in a minute to say 450. You're fucking awesome. Thank you. Thank you, David. Thank you so much for everyone who supported today. Shout out to all our mods for being amazing. And once again, just so you know, the reason why we do this is to spread awareness about how damaging and dangerous the literalist, fundamentalist interpretation of Christianity it is. It is mental child abuse. It's very dangerous. This is horrible to teach children these things. Uh, we've done this before, so make sure you check it out. Also, in the comments, not the live comments, but in the comments on the replay, suggest other drinks for me to drink, and I will most likely choose the top rated, the top rated drink. I'll do it live uh, for the next Drunk Bible reading as well. It'll be good. It'll be fun. Suggest something. I haven't actually had too many alcoholic drinks, so suggest something interesting and top vote, you know, upvote the most interesting one. Um, so once again, I have put the link to our secret video, the secret live stream, which is happening in just a few minutes. I'm going to have, oh, that's getting full. Um, you can see it filling up there. I'm going to have another glass in the secret live stream. And um, I will see you there. Yeah, let's do it. And I may, who knows, maybe I'll reveal if I'm circumcised or not. <laughs> not, not, I'm not going to show you. But I don't know. Apparently, that's something someone wants to know. Weird. But whatever. I don't care. I don't care. Uh, Crystal Smith, welcome. Thank you for helping us wake up the world. So, let's do it. Thank you all for joining us. Like, share, subscribe. Help us get to a million. Let's wake up the world. A million Monad March. MMM. Let's do it. We got 100,000 last month. Let's go for a million now. So, good to see you all. I'll see you all very soon. In just a few minutes in the secret live stream, my name is Morg Ad Astra to the stars.